Hello all, today I'll talk about how to restore Oracle Database 19C from file system to ASM. You have a database in the file system or directories and you want to restore it to the ASM disk or ASM disk group. How do you do that? I have a database called Aura 19D. That particular database is in the disk. The logs are in the disk, data file, time file and control file, everything is in the disk the, or the file system. And we want to migrate this particular database to ASM. So how do you do that? This is what we are going to see in this particular tutorial. So the first step, this is just to show you where are my files. Then we will be creating a P file from SP file. So this P file will be used to transfer to the, the uh, target database. So this is the, that P file that I'll be creating. The RMAN parameters on the source database, we need to configure some of the RMAN parameters on the source database. So we will be taking the backup, incremental level zero backup. Then we will be transferring the P file that we created in this particular step. We'll be transferring it to the target server. Then we'll be transferring the backups. The backups that we created will be transferring those backups to the target database. So once we have transferred the P file and we have transferred the backup, our work on the source database is completed. We can log off from the source server and it's time to move to the target server. On the target server, we'll be adding an entry in Aura type for the database that we are going to restore. In my case, the name of the database is Aura 90D. So we'll, I'll add that entry to etc Aura type. We'll verify that we have received the P file and backup file. We will just make sure that we have received them. The P file and Aura file that we have transferred from the source server, we have received the P file and we have received the backup file. We'll just verify that. Then we'll be creating some of the directories for audit desk and trace and dump. So we will create these directories. Then we will be modifying the control file location. So the P file that we have, that P file will have the location in the disk. So we will modify that particular location to specify that control files will now be located on the ASM. So we will do that. Once that is done, we will be finally doing the restore. And the restore, we, I will be starting the database in Nomad using the init file that we just modified or that the init file that we copied from the source server and then modified to reflect the control file. I'll be starting the database in no mod mode. Then we'll be restoring the control file. Remember to change the name here of your control file uh, that we received from the backup. Then once the control file is restored, we'll be opening the database in mount mode, allocating the channels, setting the new name for database uh, to be you know the uh, everything in the asm so currently it's in the disk so we'll be redirecting our database temp file data file everything in the asm then we will be renaming our redo logs to asm switching the data file switching the temp file recover database alter database open reset logs and if everything if this run blocks complete successfully then we will check using this particular select queries where is our disk and it should be sorry where are our data file log file etc and they should be in ASM. So without wasting the time I will move to the tutorial and let me connect to the server the source server the white color is the source server uh, and what I meant by white color is the yellow color font is the target server. So if you okay so it's a green color not yellow color sorry. So the green color is the target server and this white color is the source server. So let me close the target. We do not have any work on the target as of now. So we have only work on the source server. So this is the source server. I have connected to the source server. So first thing that we need to do is set the environment, which is order 19 D. The next thing that we will be doing, let me close this document. Okay, not right. So then we will, I will be connecting to the database using sysdba. Then I will be checking the current mode of the database and you know, so current mode is read write all of our files, redo logs, the data files, the time file and control file, everything is in the disk or file system. We, our end target is everything should be in ASM. That's our end target. I'll be connecting to this particular database, the using RMAN to set some variables. So let me do that and that's done once if everything is completed. So we, I have changed all the variables such as the backup format, etc. So that's done. The next step is to take the incremental level zero backup. So I will be taking the incremental level zero backup of this particular database. 
while the backup is happening we can connect to the target server because we already got the p file generated and we can transfer that p file to the target server and we can modify that p file and we can do some steps so let me connect to the target server so this is the green the target server the first thing we will check or on ITD. so that entry is not there as i mentioned we need to create this particular entry in etc or tab let me do that and add an entry for that particular database so that's done i have added an entry in etc or tab next thing that we need to do is create some directories so let me create all of these directories on the target server so all the directories got created good the next thing that we will be doing is setting the environment variable so now that worked previously it did not work now that it worked because we added the entry in etc or tab next thing that we will be doing is edit going to the uh going to the look okay i'm not that scp actually so let me go to first host and transfer this particular file okay so let me go there so this is the okay init file this we will be transferring to the target server so let's do that that's done so now exit and come go to this location and you can see that init file that we transferred has arrived so let me clear the screen and do and edit this particular file only one change that we'll be doing in this init file is this control file location currently that control file location is in the disk so we will edit it and mention that our control file should go to the asm so that is the only chain that we need to do in our sp file sorry not sp file the p file so that's done save the save this particular file next verify the backups let's see how the backups so the backups are still running uh anything else that we need to do so let's let's go back so we need to add edit vi etc or a tab that's done we have to verify that we have received the p file yes we have received the p file which i just edited it we have to verify that we have received the backups the backups are not at completed so we cannot verify this then we have to take the uh create the directories that's done i've created all the directories so that is also done so i'm just waiting for the backup to finish which seems to have completed so now the next step is transferring this backup to the target server so let's let me go to the backup location so this is the backup location and as you can see i have got this backup and let me transfer this particular backup location to the the target server so the the backup is getting transferred so while the backup once the backup is transferred as i mentioned i can exit from the source server so i do not need and everything that we are going to do is on the target server so let's verify that we have received our uh, we have received our backup files so where is that where is that verification that i'm doing there must be yeah this is where i'm going to check so this is the yeah and you can see we have received the backup files so the next thing that we need to do so let me or env so i have set the environment so just verify that everything okay so it is here or a tab i have added that entry this particular entry that's done the the p file we have received uh, we have received the p file so let's verify that okay so let's do this both we have received the p file you can see that we have received the p file we have received the backup file so that's done we have created these directories then what we need to do is we i have already edited this particular get init aura grep control file you can see the control file is in asm i have already edited that so we are good to run our script and as you can see first starting the database okay i need to do one thing i need to change the name of the control file here so that's done 
and you know this is important don't forget to change the control file you know whatever control file that you are using to restore so once that is done we are going to just run this block so starting the database in no mount mode restoring the control file opening the database in mount mode allocating the channels setting the new name for time file data file and the database restore the database rename the redo logs and switch data file switch time file recover database alter database open log, reset logs and verify that our all the files are in the asm so let's connect to the rmain session clear the screen pd clear the screen aura env aura 19d rmain target slash and take the script and just paste it and let's see whether you know this script works so first thing that it's going to do is it's going to start the instance so that's done then it's going to restore the control file so you can see the control file has restored so let me go to the asm or our env plus asm and then asm cmd and cd asm data one pwd ls minus l you can see we have this particular database so let me go to this particular database and you would be able to see that our files the control file has restored the undo table space so we should be able to see the system file and you know so if everything goes fine so let's see our restore okay so the restore is currently happening to the asm so this restore is going to take some time so i'll pause the video and come back when the restore is complete as you can see the restore is successful then it renamed the redo logs the restore completed rename the redo logs then switch the data file switch the time file and the database was open in reset logs mode and the database is in read write mode and as you can see the logs are in asm the data files are in asm the time file is in asm and control file is in asm just to prove the point let me do one thing let me connect to this particular database and just run this particular script to make sure that you know so let me just run this so you can see uh, we have aura 19d read write mode and everything is in asm the redo logs the data time file and control file and let me connect to the source system so i'm going to source, source system aura env aura 19d sql plus as sysdba and let me just verify that okay so i'm connected to db1 and you can see all of our log files data files and time file and the control file was on the disk and we have converted that particular database to asm so this was the short tutorial on how to restore a data a database oracle 19c database from the file system to the asm so we have migrated successfully our database from file system to asm i hope this tutorial was useful thank you for watching and if you did like, like my video, please subscribe to my channel and see you in next tutorial. Bye-bye.